Dreallday.com. 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 Let's talk about you not accepting your own excuses. Or another way that I've said this in the past is why you need to stop buying your own bullshit. And anytime you're giving yourself an excuse, just in case you didn't know, you are buying your own bullshit. Let me tell you what I mean by this and why that's true. Because we all know what excuses are, right? An excuse is some type of rationalization or story that we create in our own mind so that we can feel uh, less bad or more okay about something that we know ostensibly for ourselves is just unacceptable. Something that's not good for us, but we come up with some reason to make it seem okay so that we don't feel so bad. <coughs> Excuse me. So we don't so, feel so bad about the situation. That's what an excuse is. And anytime you're giving yourself an excuse, what you're doing is you are selling yourself on some bullshit. You're selling yourself on something that's not true, that is not accurate, that's not actually going to help you, but you're giving yourself a story that makes it seem like it's all right. And the reason why you have to be careful about buying your own excuses is this. There's a lot of reasons, but I'm going to give you one specific one in this conversation here is that every time you give yourself an excuse and you accept it, here's what you're actually doing. What you're doing is proving yourself right because look, you give yourself an excuse, nobody's going to come up, nobody's going to run up and say, hey, hey, that excuse is not right. You can't say that to yourself because you're having that conversation with yourself. Nobody else knows that you're having that conversation. So it's just you that has to live with it. That's number one. Number two, every time you give yourself an excuse and you accept it, not only did you prove yourself correct in your own bullshit, you just sold yourself on some bullshit that now you're gonna to continue to live out. You also are setting yourself up for failure because an excuse is justifying something that you don't want. So every excuse that you accept from yourself, you are further justifying something that you don't want, which means you are further ingraining the fact that you're gonna be living out a situation and a circumstance that you know in your heart of hearts you don't actually want but the excuse is easier to deal with than it is to deal with giving yourself the the real talk that real conversation that many people are incapable of having with themselves i'm gonna tell you what to do about that in a moment and that's that's where the mental toughness comes in it's actually where discipline comes in confidence comes in and mental toughness comes in because for you to have a conversation with yourself and say look self this situation right here is unacceptable this is not working this is not going to get me to where i want to be i don't want to continue uh, living like this i don't want to continue being like this i don't want to continue having a situation that's set up like this for you to have that kind of conversation with yourself you got to be disciplined enough to tell yourself that you need that conversation number one number two you have to be confident enough to know that having that conversation with yourself is not going to beat you down so much that you can't recover from it that you can talk to yourself like that and still you know, show up and be and be confident about the next thing you're going to do and number three is the mental toughness of when you talk to yourself and say hey this is unacceptable this is not working uh, this is not going the way that it needs to go and it needs to be different a lot of people just don't have the the fortitude the internal fortitude to have those kind of kind of conversations with themselves so what people do instead is they come up with the excuses they come up with the the buying their own bullshit they come up with these these kind of like self-affirming conversations that make you feel good and they validate you but are they actually helping you get to where you want to go to this is something i've talked about many times that many times in life we have conversations with ourselves and other people have conversations with us that make us feel good but they do not help us do good and you want to be very careful with the self-talk that you're having because that's that's the the foundation of everything yes i can say stuff to you other people can say stuff to you you can read stuff on the internet and whoever you come across in life i don't care if it's the person that you're sleeping with every day or it could be your own parents it could be your bosses it can be your best friend you have more conversations with yourself than anyone else has with you. You have more conversations with you you have with anybody else on the planet and vice versa. So the conversation you have with you is much more important than anything anybody else says to you. Zig Ziglar, late great uh, motivational speaker, sales trainer, uh, personal development forefather, 
one of the things he said in one of his on one of his tapes. It was a live event he did, but he made it into a tape. He said, "What I say to you is not nearly as important as what you say to you," and that's why you had to be very careful about selling yourself excuses, buying your own bullshit. Because the more you do it, the less chance you have of having that real conversation that many of you need. Now, let me tell you about that real conversation. Some of you, some of you, not all of you, but some of you are capable of having that real conversation with yourself on a consistent basis. You just have to remind yourself to do it and you have to engage your mental toughness in, hey, let me stop telling myself stuff that makes me feel good and let me start telling myself stuff that'll help me do good. Some of you are capable of doing that if you would just remind yourself to do it. Others of you, are this is not really your thing you are not really cut out to have that kind of conversation with yourself and it doesn't mean that all is lost for you and that you can't be successful all it means for those of you who can't have this conversation with yourself is that you need to get around someone or at least some someones who can have that conversation with you this is why your circle of friends matters so much this is why the law of association you become the average of the people you spend the most time with matters so much this is why you need to have a coach this is why you need to get into a circle of people who are qualified and that you trust enough that they can hold you accountable and they can let you know like yo what you're talking about right now is some bullshit yo you're throwing a bunch of excuses out here what you're saying right now is not going to work you're working with an inaccurate form and it's not going to get you where you need to go this is why you need to get around the right type of people in your life and you need to have them around you on a consistent basis so that they have license to hold you accountable when you catch yourself telling yourself some bullshit or if you're telling yourself something and you're not sure if you're telling yourself some bullshit or not this is why you got to have the right people around you so you could call one of your your friends up and say listen this is the situation this is what i'm telling myself all right tell me if I, am i bullshitting myself right now am i lying to myself right now am i not holding myself accountable right now if i'm telling myself some bullshit if i'm making excuses i need you to let me know and you need people in your circle who are qualified to tell you that and who are mentally tough enough to tell you that to your face if you don't have those people in your life right now i guarantee you you are living at way lower a way lower level than your actual capacity for success because if you don't have people around you who can tell you the truth and you aren't sure if you're telling yourself the truth well how are you ever going to get to where you want to go you might go far but you won't go as far as you could go if you don't have those right kind of people around you so that's why all of this is so important so all that said two things i'll tell you that i can offer you that can at least help you get started on this and you have to you got to take some initiative to really get as far as you want to go but to at least get started two things number one send me a text you can get my daily motivation text my number to get the daily motivation is 305-384-6894 send a text to that number right now and every day when i send the daily motivation you'll get it and number two go to work on your game university.com this link and the phone number are both down below in the description by the way Work on your game university.com. That's where my coaching programs are. My group program and my one-on-one -on -one program are both there on that page. When you are serious, and all of you ain't serious, some of you are just dabbling, some of y'all just want to watch YouTube videos. But those of you who are serious about taking your business and your life to a level where you stop talking about and thinking about and you know, posting status updates about what you want to do with your life and you're ready to actually really do it in real life, those are the people who come to me. And that's at my university, again, work on your game, university.com. If you want to you know, try me out, get a feel for you know, what I'm about and where I'm going, you're in the right place. You keep watching the videos, listen to my podcast, get the daily motivation text, text me so you get the daily motivation text. And then when you're ready to get serious, whenever you're ready to get serious, I mean, your life, I mean, the clock is ticking on your life no matter how long you take, that's when you go to work on your game, university. So all that said, work on your game. Dre, all day.